Right, you lot, let's talk lubes. Those of you that have been watching the channel for a while uh, will know that I've made a series of videos about drivetrain efficiency. I actually wrote a, a blog back in the day of blogs uh, called Fact or Friction, looking at how much you can spend on drivetrain efficiency and just what you might gain in regards to kind of watts or efficiency. So uh, when I started the YouTube channel, I really wanted to kind of do a bit of digging on this. Now the blog was based off of um, some research by a company called Friction Facts. Now, Friction Facts got bought out by Ceramic Speed some time ago. And of course that immediately nullified its independent status. And then a chap called Adam Kerrin over in Australia uh, started up a uh, testing facility called Zero Friction. So I got in contact with Adam when I started filming the new uh, series on drivetrain efficiency to see what the sort of latest was and to get his opinion on stuff. Now, some of the stuff he told me I can't repeat about certain big brands uh, for want of getting sued, not just me, but Adam too. Um, but he, he really uh, shed a lot of light on kind of the data that we, we get fed. So I made a video, um, sort of more up-to-date one, Skipping forward a little while, a friend of mine from the club, Adam, got in touch with me to tell me about a company called True Tension, who were local actually. The, uh, the developer of the, uh, the lube lived in the next town. Morning chaps. Um, so looking at Adam's research that he carried out on Zero Friction site, it became apparent fairly quickly that drip lubes whilst um, very common are actually for the most part extremely inefficient some of them deteriorating your drivetrain very very rapidly um, costing you a fortune in terms of chains and cassettes and group sets in general there were a couple of lube strip lubes that were very good um, squirt lube being one of them uh, another one being the silka lube but the rest of them were uh, pretty inefficient and some of them downright terrible you'd have been better off not putting any lube on there at all so all things considered I stuck to waxing my chains um, because it was the easiest and relatively cheapest way to do things and then I happened to email Adam about this kind of new breed of tungsten based lubes that seemed to be coming out a while back Asked him if he'd heard of the True Tension one. Said he had, that he hadn't tested it yet. So I parked all of that. And skipped forward. And uh, he has tested it. And it's extraordinarily good. I mean, I'll put a link to the test data um, below. But it's extremely efficient. And uh, you can almost read the surprise in Adam's feedback. Um, now Adam only stocks stuff that's very efficient on his website to sell, um, hence the reason why he tests it so rigorously. And in real world scenarios I might add, with water and grit and dust added into the mix. And so True Tension turns out to be an absolutely fantastic product, one that I sort of um, sort of unwittingly lumped in with all the sort of average or poor lubes it turns out it is easily one of the best on the market so being that they were local I contacted them a little while back and just said look um, would it be possible to get some uh, stuff for the prize draw for the charity thing and they got back in contact with me and said yes absolutely no problem at all they sent me uh, a uh, bundle of multiple products which is great and they offered for me to become a brand ambassador. Now, I absolutely hate that term, and I'll explain why. Um, I endorse a lot of companies, um, and you probably won't have heard any of them. Um, Mapex drums, Peisty cymbals, Vic Fur sticks, protection racket cases, Remo drum heads, 
and I've endorsed these products for 25 years um, and they send me free stuff or at least they used to and uh, I've given them some publicity where I can so I'm used to the whole world of endorsements and uh, I've seen the change that's happened back in the day you needed a record deal and a gig to get free stuff in return for the publicity that you can give now that's the thing that a lot of people skip they hear the free stuff bit and go yeah cool free stuff they don't realize that you have to give the brand publicity because it comes out of their marketing budget and so and so I've seen the change from professional musicians um, getting support from drum companies to people with 50,000 Instagram followers but no gig and that's the same across every industry really um, is it a good thing or a bad thing I have no idea I mean ultimately the only thing the brands care about is about getting their products out there for people to know about now I have shied away from this idea of brand ambassador programs or endorsements or whatever because my industry experience says I'm not a pro triathlete and I don't really have that much reach I have just over a thousand subscribers and I don't really think I've got that much to say for myself really in terms of race results certainly not in the last six years anyway so I do find it all a bit strange so they've offered me a bit of a discount on their products in return for a bit of publicity and you know what they're a small independent British company the guy lives down the road from me and it turns out their product is bloody brilliant independently tested bloody brilliant not me going oh check these flapjacks out or check out these uh, these recovery stockings or something no this is genuine scientific data that if it didn't exist I wouldn't be interested in at all I'd still be sat there with my crock pot and my molten speed wax so I'm going to be using this stuff um, and giving away some stuff from here on in really that's the plan because I've got a huge amount of time for people that do stuff like this both Adam Kerrin and True Tension as a brand they were actually on Dragon's Den a little while back and secured some really good funding to promote the company and if in some small way I can help and maybe steer people away from some of the bigger brands that I can show you the data on produce terrible products that will ruin your drivetrain and steer people more towards companies like True Tension who actually care about getting good products out there to people rather than marketing then I will do my best to do that. <laughs>